Okay, I've just been joined by the new Bucks 2010 champion, Nick Gulab of Birmingham University, won in a time of 14.40, so congratulations, Nick. Do you want to just, just talk about today's race, how it went for yourself? Um, it went pretty slow, and I think it went through 800 about 2.42 or something, so it wasn't very quick. And then I took it on after about 900. Yeah. Dropped in like a few 66s, a few 67s, and I think we've run at 14 minute pace for a while. And then with about, I don't know, five laps to go, four laps to go, I started to slow down a bit. And then with about K to go, I think Rory come past me and then took it on. And then we just kept winding up the last 800, kept going faster and faster. And I was just trying to hang on to him. Cool. And then with 120 to go, I just unleashed everything I had. And yeah, no, it's, like I said, it's very impressive for us. As you touched on, it was painfully slow from the beginning. Yeah. What, what was the thoughts going into it? Were you, was uh, it to make a move early if it well, was looking I, pretty slow? My coach slow? said to me, if I feel good, go. But if it was windy, sit in. So I wasn't quite sure, but I thought, this is slow. And I just want to go. I've had enough of sitting in and running slow. So I just thought, let's see who can handle it. Good. It, like I said, we touched on when I went to you before. This was the debut, so it was sort of a brave move. And yeah. you went after today after, just after a couple of laps. Did you... Was it? A com we, did you feel confident from there on in? Because uh, I know Rory Chester it was who went with you, was it? Yeah, yeah, Rory's got like quite a bit of wheels on him, so uh, yeah. going into the last few laps, I was thinking, God, I haven't dropped him yet. But early on, when we were running 66 or 67, it wasn't too bad, into that wind as well, which is, you know, 14 minute pace. So, you know, if I got into a, you know, a quick race with a pacemaker, not much wind, yeah, I hope I'd be able to run 67 and up to about 3k or something. Okay. Up. But out there today with the wind, it wasn't very nice. Good. But I was pretty confident, like, for a lot of the race until, like I say, you know, like miles to go, three laps to go and Rory was still there. I was going to say, because he did sit on you, and th yeah, people yeah, were thinking yeah. maybe he was just taking the ride, but you yeah. were strong enough to come through. Yeah. And as you said, you did say this was going to be the one and only 5k of the sort of the yeah. summer. Is it after feeling, you know, you're, you're Bucks champion, it's proven you can run them really well. Is it yeah. still going to be the same now? You're going to switch back to um, the shorter stuff, or have you yeah, perhaps a bit yeah. tempted I'm to. start putting in some speed work now and concentrate 8s, 15s, and 3k's. And I think I'll do my next one probably an 800 at Watford in the next few weeks. Yeah. And then Good. I'm aiming for a 1500 at Manchester. You know, we'll see how things play out. Okay. Good. Well, like I say, impressive start to track season next, so all the best for it, and yeah. thanks very much for your time. Yeah, cheers.